This is Milan of So Natural Wellness and I wanted to come to you today with an amazing video because this is a time of the year that I find um, people love food. Um, today we're going to talk about something that's really a great subject and because food cravings is something that a lot of people experience but a lot of times they don't know how to really get control of them. And that's what we're talking about in this video. How can you copy your food cravings? What if you're having them right now? What is it exactly that causes cravings? Well, that's what we're diving right into. So in a, a lot of women I find, uh, and even myself, I've been there. All the cravings that we have um, is linked to several different reasons from either isolation, and right now, a lot of people are isolated from their families, um, either boredom, not knowing exactly what to do and how, you know, how to occupy your time. Um, where a lot of us, if you're not quarantined, you are probably um, just on lockdown. Like here in Chicago, we're a little locked down as well on um, travel restrictions. So a lot of people are feeling bored right now. Loneliness. You can't tell me that a lot of people are not experiencing loneliness. And if you're single and you're not around people as much anymore and you have been confined to working online, then you may be manifesting some feelings of loneliness. Watching other people eat, you know, um, that makes you that makes you also have food cravings. And there's psychological reasons as well. There's the hunger and there's the fatigue. So there's a lot of reasons why, you know, we you may be having, you know, cravings. But now that you know the cues that typically cause the cravings, let's talk about um, what is it that you need to know to get through those cravings. Because a lot of cravings are linked to deficiencies in your body. So if you're experiencing cravings like always craving salt or craving ice or craving, craving chocolate, um, so a lot of those cravings, or even just craving bread, a lot of those cravings are linked to something that's going, something going on in the body that's maybe something you've never even considered before. So you have a lot of nutritional deficiencies like um, chromium, uh, there's uh, nitrogen, uh, magnesium, so a lot of deficiencies in your body. Once you understand exactly what your craving is, and then next understand what exactly is causing you to have this craving. What is the mineral deficiency behind your craving? And how can you uh, supplement through food? Or how can you sup just you know supplement through maybe an herb? Then you can start to really take control over the cravings instead of the cravings getting control over you. And that's when we feel worse, right? When your craving takes control over you. Because when you're able to control it, you're fine, you're, you're doing well, but when your craving is making you give in to it, then there starts to be a problem. It's something I teach my clients in the Chic Women Don't Diet program. I teach them to rearrange the cues. Once they understand what is their biochemical unique individuality, they rearrange the cues. So whatever it is is making you gravitate to certain foods. You rearrange that cue. And also out of sight, out of mind. If the food is not in your house, if what it is that you're craving is not near you, then you won't crave it. I know it's so elementary and it's something so simple to do. Avoidance. I found just avoidance is one of the biggest keys to getting mastery over your cravings. When you fill in the time of what exactly is causing that craving, if it's loneliness, if it's boredom, if it's fatigue, if it's hunger, and determining what exactly is it that you're craving, whether it be chocolate, something salty, something that's breaded, understanding what is it these what nutrients your body is deficient in, you can really get control over your cravings. And the thing about cravings, I just want to make this clear, is that cravings come in waves. And if you're watching this video, and you're leaving comments, make sure that you put them in the box, chat box below. And once this video is over, I'll get a chance to go back and look at them and see um, if there's any comments that came through. So the thing about cravings is that cravings come in waves. And once they pass, then it's a lot easier for you because 
since they're controlled by the brain, you just have to con make sure that your body and your mind is connected. And once those cues are in sync, then you're able to get through your cravings. But as long as your crate is just a craving and not an addiction, then you're okay, all right? Um, it only becomes a problem when something that you must have and that it ultimately starts to affect your weight and also starts to affect your health, then it becomes a problem. Your body is so amazing, and I hope you know that. Your body is so, so amazing. And it speaks to you in so many different ways. It's just understanding the meaning of it. And that's why in the Sheep Women Don't Diet program, um, even though I have that word diet in there, I'm so against dieting and restriction and not eating certain foods, not abstaining from eating certain foods because you only want it more and it defeats you. I find uh, in my years of being a wellness coach, my years of being a weight loss coach, my years of being, uh, being a chef, running my own business as a private and personal chef, I just find that food is amazing. There's so much you can do with it. And once you know how to be more efficient in your kitchen, once you know how to uh, get the master over your cravings, once you know how to reduce your belly bloat and you know get through those hormonal issues that are that is a result of the lifestyle that you're leading, then things will be a lot more easier for you. But sometimes your body wants that treat, and when your body wants a treat, I say by all means give it to your give it to it, because why why neglect yourself? Why withhold stuff that your body wants? But the problem is, like I said, is when we give in to those cravings, and that's all we want to do is just feed that craving, and there comes a problem. So if you love your wine, you love your chocolate, make sure that it's the best chocolate that you can possibly have. If it's a glass of wine, make sure you swirl it like a sommelier would want you to swirl it. And I just find that once you satisfy your cravings, once you understand exactly what is causing your cravings, that long-term adjustments is really just a, uh, figuring out what exactly is the cause of the cravings. Once you get to the cause, then you can address all the other problems. But first you need to get to the cause. And a lot of times I find when women come to me and they want to lose weight or um, they want to reduce their belly bloat, they want to have more energy, they want it fast. They want it here, they want it now. But it didn't take you, it wasn't a fast process that got you, got you to where you are. It happened gradually. It happened over a period of weeks. It happened over a period of months. So now you're at the stage where you are right now. So this is what I have on offer today. I want to invite you to a beautiful, beautiful, and it is really beautiful, a beautiful six-week program. And I'm just going to get my notes right here. So this program, this is a new um, program that I started when um, I started working with my chef, my private clients here locally in Chicago. But I wanted to offer it to you um, online. So um, this program is a Sheep Women Don't Diet program that is designed for the woman who is ready to truly invest in herself, to truly up-level who she is, mind, body, and soul. And if that's you, you are ready to uh, figure out what exactly your cravings are. You're ready to get the master over them. You're ready to lose those 10, 20 pounds. You are ready to get back in your clothes and feel good about being on Zoom calls again. If that's you, give me a call. I'm gonna include the link to my um, page. You can schedule an appointment with me and I look forward to speaking with you soon. And as you can see, I am wearing something summery. I'm here in Chicago. It is cold, it's just gloomy and it's rainy, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. In my mind, it's a beautiful day. And I want you to always feel that life is beautiful for you. So I know we're going through a lot right now and. Um, for a lot of people that's really trying times and I want to support you. I want to support you to get to your next best level. And I know, you know, as women, we love looking good when we step out. And a lot of the way we dress and the way we look, I know this has nothing to do with cravings, but I just need to get this out and talk about this right now. But a lot of the way that we dress and the way we look is 
is based on other people, right? Tell me <laughs> and leave a comment. Women tend to dress good for other women, right? We do. Um, we want to look good for our for our partner, our man, but we want the odds from other women. We want the compliments. So it's hard to do that right now. It's hard to, you know, sit down and be seen, sit at the beautiful, you know, cafes and el fresco dining. It's hard to do that. But you can still look your best. You can look your best every day. When I'm, whether I'm working with clients or not working with clients, I could be working at home doing something very, um, doing creative thinking. I'm still dressed because I feel my best when I'm dressed. So my Chic Women Don't Diet program, but it's for the woman who, who wants to feel good, the woman who wants to feel better in her skin, the woman who wants more confidence, the woman who just needs support. I look forward to speaking with you soon. And until our next time together, stay beautiful.